of shrapnel and I bought this barn door off of Wayfair and I guess they're kind of like uh, Ikea. Sell stuff cheap and uh, some assembly is required. So let's see how much assembly is required here. I'm guessing size of the box with this being a full-size door, a lot of assembly is required. All right. See if I just turn this over. It's quite heavy. Quite heavy. Ugh. Man, that was a lot of work. I'm more out. All right, that's it for episode one. <laughs> oh my goodness. All oh, the hardware. Got some rollers. Oh. Well, if you look over here, and these are my old doors and had my bathroom, my doorway widened so those doors won't work anymore. So I measured out how big the doorway was now and I'm just getting one big door where before I had French doors and I mean I'm American. I don't want no Frenchy doors. <laughs> I want a barn door. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse. I'm not gonna do real time of me putting this thing together. <laughs> do a little time lapse. And when I get the door all together, I'll go back to video mode and show me hanging it. All right, I have made something resembling a door. It's a pretty large door. And now I need to hang it. So first I have to put the rail up so it's gonna hang on. So let's go to my bedroom, shall we? Hello and welcome to my bedroom. So this is the uh, metal track that the door is going to ride on. And I've already measured, it says to measure one and three quarters inch above the, higher than the door. The door is 84 inches, so 85 and three fourths inches. I found uh, where the studs were and measured from the floor. And I guess we'll see if uh, this works out. So I know for sure the studs are over here. And since the door is going to be open most of the time, I made sure that that's the main stud that I want to hit, and the ones over here. And over here, we may or may not hit studs. We'll find out. And uh, I need a drill. <clears throat> this part's going to be tricky by myself. Uh, Got to put these little spacers 
and let me double check which way they're supposed to go. RTFM. Flat part goes toward the wall. Got it. Let's see if I can do this without killing myself. I give myself 50-50 chance. This bar is kind of heavy. Kind of use the... Somewhere in there. Hopefully this doesn't slip off there. Might break my something. Kidding me. <clears throat> Where's the juice? No juice. We got the juice. All right. Here goes nothing. Please just hang on that just for a minute. in the shower. Alright. Got this guy started. Let me get the other one lined up. I'm gonna see if it's good enough. Ugh. <laughs> uh. It goes above the track. It needs to go up a lot. Probably another inch. It's sitting on the floor. <laughs> Uh, all right. <sighs> Got to go up. So that one is not holding into anything. They did give me uh, little drywall anchors. I guess I could put one in there. Haha! -ha! Drove it in with the rail. go. Improvise. That's better than just having it spinning in the wall. All right. Hang the big door. Ah, 
Big heavy door. Look at that. Now the little bolt kind of hits the door there a little bit. Not bad. I could hear a little rubbing. A little rubbing, loving. It's over here too. But but it only needs a good close that far anyway. Very nice. Just gonna have to wear that part down. <laughs> There's the bolt that's hitting the trim there. A piece of trim is a little bit higher. But it'll work. That'll work its way out. So there are, uh, there's like a guide that you're supposed to put into the floor. I do not have a concrete drill. So I don't think I could do that right now you need to put the handle on Let's put a handle on it It'd be nice if they actually uh, pre-drilled some holes for me I would appreciate that put up and put my, get up and put my back into it go door handle installed look at that that's a door I did that gotta peel all these stickers off I'm just a regular Bob Vila so that's pretty much how you do it I do have to put that floor anchor in and uh, other than that, I think it looks pretty good. I was just not going to have a door at all. I didn't really care, but the sun comes in from the, uh, the block window in there in the bathroom over the bathtub. So I wanted to be able to lock out the light in the morning especially on weekends when I want to sleep in <laughs> but that was my project hope you enjoyed it and tune in for the next home upgrade <laughs> all right guys I'll talk to you later take it easy like Columbo used to say just one more thing gotta put these little bumpers on the ends, and that keeps them from sliding off the track. Bump. So, that was quick and easy. I'm gonna have to patch up these little holes, put a little putty in there and paint it. But, overall, this door looks good. I got all those little stickers off of it. I'm happy with it. So, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Take it easy for real this time. <laughs>